One easy way to sort of start getting used to manipulating these symbols and using these properties is to try to negate a proposition. So given some weird statement, find the opposite of that statement. This can be helpful sometimes when you know a theorem is true and you want to sort of reason about what's going on with its negation. That's also a useful proof technique we will discuss at some point called proof by contradiction to take some if then type statement and then try to negate that statement. Very useful sort of thing to do. And it's also just a good excuse to do some algebra on these sort of things. So we're going to be given this statement and we're going to try to negate it. So we want to find not this statement. So we begin by rewriting this as not, and then the implication we write as not P or Q, but Q in this instance is the entire end of the implication, which is Q or not R. That's our first step is take the implication and write it as an or. I, again, often find that the easiest. And then we have a not, and we have it in these brackets or parentheses. So we're going to distribute that using our not distributive property, but De Morgan's is what we call that when we're distributing negative. So we have not the first thing, so not not P. We switch the symbol. Then we have not Q or not R. And then we could use our double negation on that not not P. And we have P and not Q or not R. And then we can use De Morgan's again and get not Q and not not R. Again, using the double negation, we can get P and not Q and R. And again, off to the side, you may write what down what we're doing. So this is the implication equivalence. I'll write equiv for myself. You could write down that we used the De Morgan's laws here, De Morgan, then double negation. And then we use De Morgan again, and then double negation again. The one downside to having to do this can often be that the exact words can be hard for some people to remember. So I try to recommend that you do this to help you remember them, especially things like De Morgan's Law. They'll show up a whole bunch throughout different courses that you may take. And it's just a useful thing to do. And then the other ones, kind of the names aren't as important. That's the one that has a name, so maybe the actual the actual name of that is important. The other ones are kind of more obvious. It being called double negation is not so bad because there's two negations. Maybe the name there is a little bit easier to remember.